Hello and welcome to my dance studio and video channel. My name is Jessica Scarlett May. I'm a transgender ballroom dance teacher, a fellow of the British Association and a former ISTD teacher and school owner. These are video presentations just to help you keep up with your current dance teacher and not necessarily a standalone arrangement unless you go and go over that particular dance to keep up with your class. So I have no music present, they're purely structural and um, educational. So with that in mind, this is the first walkthrough for 2021. Thank you for joining me. Um, we're going to have a look at the Springside Waltz, which is a modern sequence dance created by Howard and Joanne Cookson. So, let's get started. So, um, this is a nice dance. Um, it uses a lot of class basics. I'm going to start with the man's steps initially, um, moving towards the camera, and then dance it away from the camera, but I'll, I'll um, tell you when that is. Um, the dance moves very well. Um, it moves just as well as an engagement wall, so maybe even the Glenroy Foxtrot do we say. Uh, in fact, a, a good dancer would be able to turn the variations around a little bit to make it fit in both dances. So this is being taught as a waltz, so we're in waltz time and we're taking ballroom hold facing down to centre, so that's what we'll do. So we're starting on the man's left foot as all sequences do. So all sequences start on the left foot. So we're stepping left foot forward, walk, walk, close for a one to three of a reverse turn. So there we go. Walk one, side, close. I'll lower. Um, we're going to step back into a check outside partner, moving down to wall. Right foot back. Moving down line of dance, left foot to side and slightly forward, right foot forward in CBMP. In other words, it's outside partner. It's a check outside partner. Now we've come to what I think is the most difficult part of the dance. Now this is um, an open impetus turn that in a way is overturned. So rather than um, me turning to face down to centre, which would be normally the common practice, is actually a continuous of turn to move down line of dance. So the first step is um, an eighth of a turn between the preceding step, that's the check outside partner, and step one of the impetus turn. So the first step moves down line of dance. Two, right foot closes to left foot, which is the first of your heel turns, gents. So there we go. Bring your knees together, flex them, keep that body turning because you're only halfway there. We need to turn an additional, um, what it feels like, an additional three-eighths of a turn. What's really happening is that you're ending so that you square with all. There we go. We're going to do a zigzag, right foot forward, um, Counted one, two, and three. So you're both in promenade here. Walk one, left foot to side, right foot back, underneath the body, left foot to side. One, two, and three. We're going to step into a four-way, a natural four-way turn, I believe it's called in my technique book. Uh, but we're going to step into a four-way from promenade. There we go. So down the room, left foot to side, Encourage your partner to move with you so that we're in four way. She's on your right hip. I'm going to make one more step in four way. This is a, stick, a six step figure, which is not unlike a weave. So we step back in four way. The man does a slip step before stepping to side in promenade. So there's a, uh, when the man does a slip, the lady does a pivot. So the man keeps the, the, the um, figure down. There we go. We both step to side in promenade. 
before dancing a man does a closed wing as the lady does a standard wing. So the man steps right foot forward, he starts to close left foot to right foot um, on step two, but closes on three, making a body turn, allowing the lady to move round you for a standard wing. She's facing line of dance, you're facing diagonal to centre. Okay, so we'll do that once again. So how did we start? We started facing down to centre, left foot forward, heel lead, half of a reverse turn, one, two, three, one, two, three, walk side and check outside partner, moving down to wall. What do we have here? We have a, um, an eighth of a turn between the preceding step and step one for the man's open impetus, which is really overturned. So there we go, bring them feet together, Left foot to side, along the line of dance. For your zigzag, county one, two and three. One, two and three. Stepping through for a four-way natural turn. Right foot forward, heel lead, left foot to side. Right foot turns on that toe step. So you're hip to hip and stepping back in four-way. Man moving down to centre, lady be back in down to centre against line of dance or even um, back in centre, the man keeps the figure down for this, um, uh, this full away slip pivot. So the man keeps the figure down, he does a slip, increasing the lady to pivot. We both step to side in promenade, ready to dance, um, close wing, guy's right foot forward, walk, left foot starts to close to left foot, left foot closes to left um, right foot. Uh, with a body turn as the lady to stand a wing. One, two, three. There we go. So, we'll carry on with the dance. I would say that we're um, just under halfway there. So, the man's done a closed wing. It's finished with the feet together. The lady's facing line of dance. Or should I say, she's backing down to centre. It doesn't matter, we'll, t we'll take either of those alignments. So the man's going to step outside partner for um, the, um, a standard telemar. Okay, so left foot forward, heel lead. Right foot forward, keep turning on that right toe to end left foot to side and side forward to dance a curved feather to face line of dance. So here we go, right foot forward, outside partner. Two steps carrying that on, so he's facing um, against line of dance, but his next step is actually down line of dance. So here we go, left foot back for another heel turn. This is a standard impetus, open impetus turn. So that's what you're going to do. You don't need to make any initiation of turn like we did with the first one. That's a big difference. Left foot back. Right foot closes to left foot, bend those knees, turn through the body, end up left foot diagonally forward, left shoulder leading. We're going to dance right foot forward for a chassis and promenade. So we're both moving together in promenade. One, two and three. Into a chair and slip pivot. So that's the chair. So there's a compression of the knee in the chair. I tend to look at my partner uh, when I do that. That's up to you. And we're going to do a slip pivot, which we did from the fall away. Again, there we go. What do you have to do? You have to keep the figure down. And also, I finish with my right toe towards me in step. I believe it says it's a closing action. That's your choice. I believe that the lady has to uh, pivot, so she will need somewhere to place her left foot. Okay, so we're going to down to chassis in promenade, uh, uh, progressive chassis to right, one, two, and three. You can incorporate sway there. I'm just worried about my camera. Um, we're going to do one to three of, I should say, four, five, six of a weave, left foot back, down line of dance, lady steps out, outside partner. Right toe back, left foot to side, side forward. 
So we're going to step into a natural turn and finish with a heel pull. So we're going to step right foot forward through that movement for a natural turn to back line of dance. There we go. And we're going to do a heel pull. Now the heel pull is not a heel turn. It is um, an accommodation that we see in um, uh, Walsh and Foxtrot. And what happens is that it's more of a body turn. In other words, there's more turn between the preceding step of step three, that's the one to three of the natural turn where I'm already at here, and step one. Okay, so the turns there, it's not present on two and three, which require a foot swivel normally. So here we go, left foot back, turn your body. Now when you do that step, it will incorporate an eel pull. And that step is very small in waltz. There's a change of weight into the right foot and the inside edge of toe will move towards um, your standing leg. That puts us back in our starting position, facing down to centre to do a reverse turn and one, two, three. Walk side check outside partner. The overturned impetus. The zigzag. I'm going to do the full way, but I'm going to change my line of dance rather than stop the camera. So we'll walk, hover, and step back in full way. So that's a natural full way. We've got a full way slip pivot part of here where we go down and compress the movement. Step to side in promenade. Man does a closed wing. Lady does a standard wing. Remember, we've changed line of dance here. A standard telemark. The man steps outside partner for curved feather. He doesn't need to do any more turn um, because my corners have helped me, in fact, haven't they? Um, the man does a standard open impetus turn to face diag center. Compress those knees before stepping left foot diagonally forward in promenade. Now you chasse, now you chair, now you fall away, step underneath your body, draw back. I slip the foot back a little bit to give her a bit more room. Progressive chassis to right, four, five, six of the weave. So she steps outside partner in line to side. We're ready to do the natural turn, one to three of the natural turn. and the heel pull for the hesitation so here we go left foot back there's a change of weight inside edge of toe change of direction almost you could call it and you're back into your reverse turn it's a nice waltz um, you may know Howard and Joran Cookson through a dance at the we dancing competition now, and that's the New Church Waltz, um, and that will be coming up. I have to gain the script for that, and I'll present that as well for you.